Step six, 10 six. How many grams of iron have the same number of atoms as 48.6 grams of copper? So let me just write this down again, underline what we're looking for. How many grams of iron have the same number of atoms, right? So it's grams of iron, have the same number of atoms, this is kind of important here, as 46 grams of copper. All right, so we wanna know grams of iron that have the same number uh, or the same mass as 48.6 grams of copper. Now, I hope you all understand that grams of copper and grams of iron are not the same, all right? But do we understand something about moles? One mole of iron and one mole of copper. What do they have in common? Stop the video, answer that question. One mole of iron, one mole of copper, what do they have in common? I hope you understand that one mole of iron and one mole of copper both have the same number of particles. Hope I'm not off the screen. All right, they have the same number of particles. That doesn't mean that they have the same mass. So 48.6 grams of copper um, has a number of atoms in it, right? Uh, the question is, how many atoms of copper would 48.6 grams be? And once we know that, then we can say, well, that's the number of atoms of iron that we would use. Right? So we have to think about this and then we can figure out what the mass of that would be. So this is a relationship problem. Here we go. So one, convert your grams of copper to moles of copper. Again, should we round? No. So we're gonna take our 48.6 grams uh, divided by the molar mass of copper to get two moles of copper. Step two, um, concept. If they have the same number of atoms, then they have the same number of moles. All right, we just talked about that. One mole of copper and one mole of iron, what do they have in common? They have the same number of atoms. Well, what if I have 0 0.764752 moles of copper? Then how many moles of iron would have the same number of atoms. So hopefully, therefore, if the number of copper atoms, therefore, if the number of copper atoms equals the number of iron atoms, then the moles of copper equals the moles of iron. Okay, let's just stop right here. So that means, therefore, right, 0 0.764752 moles of copper is equivalent in terms of the numbers of things to 764.752 moles of Fe. That's what we're saying, okay? So we're going to now take this number and we're going to convert it to grams using the molar mass. So 7.64752 moles of iron using the molar mass go to grams and the answer is unrounded, 42.711, blah, 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 grams of iron. And we're gonna round that to three significant figures. All right, those are fun. Those are fun. Okay. Okay, so here again, same as the previous slide. So I want you to write this in a second way, both ways, right? These are your notes. There's more than one way to do these problems. So starting with 48.6 grams of copper, using the molar mass to go to moles. Ah, is this a true statement? One mole of co copper has the same number of atoms as one mole of Fe? Yes, it does. So that is us 
saying, listen, there's a relationship here between these two things. Copper's gonna cancel, now we're in moles of iron, and then we use the molar mass to go to grams, and we get our problem, we get the same answer. So again, step one right here is convert grams of copper to moles of copper. Step two, moles of copper to moles of iron. Moles of copper to moles of iron. Step three, convert moles of iron to grams of iron. And the answer is 48.6 grams of copper has the same numbers of atoms as 42.1 grams of iron. That is our answer. Okay.